How's it going, War Pugs? So, one of the things that has surprised me and continues to surprise me is how bad some of the AAA games that have come out have been in the past few years. How much of a disappointment they've been. How it's clear they're not looking to make good games anymore. They're just looking for essentially whales to make money off of. Um, loot boxes and all this other kind of garbage aside. It's also been very interesting to me to see small games come out like this one, Lethal Company, which was put out and is hilariously fun. It just stupid amounts of fun that were put out with a low budget, barely any fanfare, but they take the internet by storm. You can, if you enjoy like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, games like that, I trust me, I get it. They're not my games. They haven't been since they first started coming out. They're not going to be any longer. The the focus has not been on telling a good story or anything like that in quite a while. Um, so, when games like Lethal Company come out, when, ga when other games come out that are just regular games for people to just sit back to enjoy, I mean, what did they expect was going to happen? What did they honestly expect was going to happen? <sighs> Guys... This is when the U $10 YouTube poop outsells Call of Duty, and it's something that we all, like, if you haven't played Lethal Company yet, if you haven't gotten a group of friends together to play Lethal Company, you really should. It's some of the funniest, stupidest, most asinine humor that you'll ever find in a video game. Um, Rubik's Raptor, uh, he put out some videos on this. I put out my own. From our time playing this, which was which was comical at best, um, but now we have the Russian Badgers take on this, which, yes, a hundred and ten percent yes, we're gonna check out Russian Badgers take on Lethal Company, and we're gonna have some fun in the process. Be sure to check the description down below for all the links. Check out my Patreon merch. I got the Good Times Rounds with War Crimes in there. As well as Uwu Platoon, which you guys forced me to make against my will. So, <laughs> there you go. Let's get into it, guys. <sighs> Fun times, let's go. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. Yes. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range. Yes. Oh god, oh inside of a haunted house, crawling with monsters. Yep. With the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. Yes. Is there what minimum wage is like in the United States? <laughs> <laughs> As a $10 game made by a furry in his basement, I am morally obligated to play it so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bombed. Of course, there you go. That. He's like, he's a furry too, <laughs> like, to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an air horn to you? <laughs> and if you don't mind, I'm just going to yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. To warn yep. you in advance, this video is sponsored by Swouse, my brand new merch collection on sale Swouse. for a limited time, but I'm not going to tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt the story. There you go. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company called The Company. That the puts Company. puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by The Company. Truth is... Game was rigged from the start. The there you go. To avoid your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Yes, it is. 
You know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space if you don't get a quota, right? As you can see, like, just another boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience mm -hmm. horrors beyond your comprehension in uh -huh. the name of quota. Yo, why he purple? <laughs> <laughs> you will betray your best friends in the name of quotes. Yes. Shut up, shut up, baby. Get them subs. Shut up. Fuck. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's getting you. It's getting you. It's getting you. I'm sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking ship. Put the keys in the ignition. Please. Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear when I say it's quota or die. Yes, I'm true. Call that shit loud and clear. <laughs> True. Quota is achieved by stealing, repurposing, repurposing, or as uh, or as our good friend the fat electrician says, uh, strategically transferring equipment to an alternate location. One second, guys. All right, I was told to stop living like a vampire and actually turn on some light back here, so I have done that. Let's go. Quote, abandoned industrialized moons that I can assure you were abandoned for a reason. Yes. Oh. Yo! Oh my god! This crap, officially called scrap, is fantastic <laughs> because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no sense is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar True. of pickles can be worth more than an engine. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, True. each and every one of you is worth five whole credits. Why does this game's economy <laughs> let you oh, trade five around. human beings for a jar of pickles? <laughs> right. I bought you a gift. Yo, what's up? A jar of poop? Pickles? Pickles! I mean, those are... It's got tons of stuff eventually. Value is important, <laughs> but weight is even more important because yes. the heavier something is, and the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can Very close true. doors on them, right? They can't open doors? Oh, they can't open doors! Oh my god! Dipshit dumbass spider can't even open a goofy odd doors to open door. Oh god, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> the five basic movements you'll make while scrapping I like to call Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, interrupting. Interacting, pointing. Loaf. I saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important for yes. spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? Yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Very, Very much so. Like professional yappers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. he's not wrong. Most crap is one handed, so to speak, because it doesn't restrict your character's action at all. Mm hmm. This is a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is too big. Yeah, no, it's you not. You can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else with a perfect example being... Oh, yes. Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. Soda! Soda! <laughs> Yo, you actually had... Soda! Yay! <laughs> Just don't drink it because the company doesn't like that. Soda! of quirkiness when it comes to scrap and the apparatus is a prime example this mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting so once you take it all the electricity is gone which yes no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels i love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse yeah I'm pretty <laughs> big fan i grab this thing and i ruin everybody's day <laughs> grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights <laughs> <laughs> man I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. Which one of you fucks oh, pulled the battery? Dude, I was by myself. I was by myself picking shit up, and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make my way back. And then all the fucking lights turned off. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, you can go <laughs> using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight. But my goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up! Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way! Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the move. There you go. flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. I got a True. key for moments like this. Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. There you go. My personal favorite, stop signs, so I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter <laughs> the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to yes. quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the 
the weather is, and trust me, weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick. Once you've made up your mind, you're typing route, then where you want to go, like the company building, so you can cash out your scrap. Much like all things in Lethal Company, the HQ is also trying to kill you. Turning it. Everything is trying to kill you. And your scrap to the window and ring a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits, but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected. <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah, I need a I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items, but any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value. So that's right. 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. <laughs> Sell whatever you want on any day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did that... Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's mm -hmm. get down to serious business. Let's do it. <laughs> With newfound credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that costs money if you want to land on them. They're uh -huh. both higher risk and high reward, because even though they cost credits, these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap. Hey, what's up, oh, bitch? Oh, God. Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, bro! You're moving the trash! <laughs> I saw four people lined up. Oh my god! How much money did we pay to travel to this planet? The other major option for burning credits? Items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Beans. What beans. What the fuck? Beans. What the fuck? <laughs> Go. I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now, people love modding this shit. No, I got there are so many mods for this game right now, it's stupid. I think I downloaded the whole <laughs> And who needs beans when you got swouse? My brand new limited time merch that took me two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off, and that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But mm -hmm. the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. Yes, <laughs> yes, if you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean, you are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot on a construction site. So yeah. I've got no business wearing the uniform of a guy that works 37 hours a day. Hey, five hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> My swag is a perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape, and always looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. There you go. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine. Tossing shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick, all the things that make you want to say swow. My cousin Tyler did such a great go. job with the designs that we decided to make t-shirts and mouse pads too. I mean, swouse pads. I am so swouse committed pads. to the quality of this merch that the first thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers. I'm gonna break my hands doing this. You've got. I can't do that. If I try to write a handwritten note longer than like five words, my hand starts to like freak out. I'm just saying it happens, it hurts. Two weeks from today to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months. I know that's a little bit of a wait, but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie. Unlike those limited merch drops that sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item. That's so fucking stupid. I stand by the quality of my products. You can cancel or refund at any time. I will give you your money back. And I am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on. Use code BADGER for 10% off and thank you for hearing me out. There you go. Yay! Moving on from swouse to more serious items we okay. gotta talk about flashlights because flashlights. Company, you live and die by the flashlight who put a flashlight in the cabinet with one percent battery that is cause for like blatant homicide right there do not do that. Yeah, I'm gonna crack your fucking skull open. If you don't have a flashlight to spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready to nay nay your ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine True. Wow, there's also this turret. <laughs> <laughs> you died because no flashlight, no bread alert. <laughs> These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really missed that flashlight. <laughs> 
fuck y'all laughing? That's another flashlight. There's a dipshit True. version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery. And if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, yes. including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad. And yes. the walkie-talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie-talkie, but my friends are so loud that I just can't use it. Well, all of you shut the fuck- We can't. War pugs aren't capable of using walkie-talkies for anything intelligent. We screw it up instantaneously. Up. Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck bought a toilet? Two <laughs> items with situational utility, like performance-enhancing medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video, even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo <laughs> of helium. Oh, I gotta hit it? <laughs> Flashbangs in this same situation nice. slash possibly useless category. Even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard, he's <laughs> never deployed correctly on any monster, spiders included. He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. Good job. Ma. Ma. Hey, look, I see. Maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. You killed it, dog. It's dead. Nice. Past this oh, no, 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 no. The only item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang is a ladder. Yes. No matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking drop, drop it all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just a <the> bad. <laughs> Yeah, not so funny now, are you? You want something truly useful? <laughs> yes. Teleport. Yes. You yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over uh, Bada's shoulder. <laughs> this is how so are you doing this? That's, That's a lot, a lot of bodies. To do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't. Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop! 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 <laughs> Stop. An inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility. That's scary. Which which can be nerve wracking because I have dropped and been over a, I have been over a void before, so I immediately fell to my death. Is that sound? Press the yellow button. Okay. All right, let's get in there. All right, Come we gotta on. go. Come on. We're gonna go to the same place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is horrifying. Yes. Though. All of them are now gone. The only major downside <laughs> here is that items do not travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or mm -hmm. getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey. Teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. Oh, shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I gotta see what happened. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf. Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a Loaf still alive in here? Mmm. That answers my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, it's time to move on from <laughs> items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company, but if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Uh, yes. You know what? I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary That's always a bad there. sign. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So I think well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this was tech! I thought you said it was tech! Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addicting, and I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster uh -huh. rushing towards the ship, and you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close yep. on, Digi. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> or alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all of you. This open happens. Up, open up, open up, open up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, why did you bring the bees in? Fuck, baby. <laughs> this is a major reason why the company 
is incredible because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates is always exciting. Oh, right? here they come, here they come, Grab here it. they come, here they we come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Oh, he left him behind. He left Gary behind. Oh, no. I think it's nice. beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you did you spend five? There is no such thing as pragmatic decisions in this game. Five hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage. The teamwork dynamic radically changes if you have the big lobby mod enabled, which yes. is extremely popular and changes the team from a max of four players to 40 players. And the more players you have, the less teamwork is important. Yes. If you have a lobby exceeding 10 players, it's gonna feel like you picked up an entire Menards worth of contractors on the way to that move. <laughs> Smoking on the Menards 2x4s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Menards 2x4s aren't 2x4s anymore. They're 1.5 by 3.5s. True. Game. Very true. Five hours a motherfucking day. I do this shit for a living. You got okay, soft hands. You got soft hands. Okay, Eighty-five hours a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got soft hands. You got soft hands. You got soft hands. You got that car on you. Now that I'm thinking about it, everything <laughs> changes when you go beyond the default four players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you <laughs> outnumber the monsters and all you can hear is chatter about George W. Bush. <laughs> God, why is that so funny? Yo, what were you Hello. saying about George Bush earlier before you come <laughs> up? I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, oh, I take a shit, get yesterday. out of bed. And then uh, <laughs> I kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got there the you monsters go. anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and, quite frankly, fun. No. Nah. Oh! <laughs> uh, Wait, somebody's on the uh, Wait a minute. When you land on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m., and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Yes. Go, 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 go. 7.25 an hour. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Because the ship will automatically leave you behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. Yep. Yo, what the? You might think you're built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Yes, Damn, it does. Out of there. I'm built different, man. I'm built different. That's right. I made it. I'm built distinctly, bro. Damn. Oh. That's crazy. First monster to keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more interns. It does. It does. It killed me so many times. Turns than any other monster, and the number of times I get accused of pushing people is ridiculous. Oh shit! No. <laughs> what? I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. <laughs> mm, I'm sussy. I'm gonna be real. Sussy. Okay, okay fine. Fuckface. Spell suspicious. You cannot spell suspicious. All right. S. Oh, you go first. <laughs> e. <laughs> Turrets are self-explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't free anymore. Mamma mia! <laughs> But what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be on it. So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. <laughs> Some monsters you can negotiate with, like oh. hoarding bugs, yes. that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. There, bye bye. He's see, he's excited. That was a good trade. Yes. It truly does not matter what that loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately left him alone. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take a I'm shotgun. Negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. 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 Get
Skinny is the most beloved entity in the game that yes. prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, call him Freddy Grizzbear again. I'm gonna ban him. Freddy Grizzbear, what? <laughs> Bro, I summoned him. That was me. Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long, but if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 he came back. He shattered shorts. Yeah, he did. Your Bracken, come out to play. Yay. Having the bracken behind you is one of the worst experiences you can have in this game because you don't know whether or not you're about to get snatched. Oh my god! Some monster interactions are just horseshit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death sentence. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nice. Is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Finder. Oh, girl, fuck this. I, I... Alright, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. She ran away because she's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit. Dumbass child. For the most part, each monster has flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God! If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm going to say it super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh, God. Oh, look at me. I proc on sale. <laughs> Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. Yeah. Get out. Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. <laughs> nice. Cooperation, nice. Bring that up again is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Yes. Uh, towards... Well, can you close doors on them? Oh, what, the blob? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Do not go in there. <laughs> Do not <laughs> go in there. <laughs> Do not <laughs> go in there. <laughs> all right, I'm going back to the ship. All right. So what happened? You, you all died. Right. So, um, <laughs> you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. True. Imagine this way. Imagine this you way. You a whole bit. Oh, oh wait. What if I the other way. Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> oh, my nice. God. Oh my God. <laughs> I get a single frame of that screen. No. If you prefer fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. Hey, behind you guys. Watch out. But this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with yeah. four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a space Hulk. The monsters run away from me game. Yeah, but why wouldn't you get a bolter? You'll be fine if the company provides. Is cooked. Oh, I'm gonna dead. gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry oh, death scream. <laughs> 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 Ass death. Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole lot Why not? Arm, Axel? I want to see him take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass large axle! <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to get those sounds modded into Lethal Company, my god. Seem pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, it is. so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Which, Valk abused regularly. His ass has been drinking. Do not give him the keys. 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 
Let's go! <laughs> Because if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship. And there I have you never go. seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? Hello? We are aligning you are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're going to beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I think those need to go away. Yes, 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 yes. Give me them I don't feel respected here. Why do I need reverb? Wait, where did you go? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. <laughs> I'm sure you're asking, is Lethal Company scary? And the answer entirely depends on settings. If you were in the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this, feeling an assault, but the ketchup, a little bit of poop, uh, you know, <laughs> the usual. No. It's not scary. Yeah. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker <laughs> is about to bully me and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KV2, you smell like fucking beans, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel- Yes. The pro if you're playing without proximity voice on, you're screwing the game up. The 3D with both distance and direction. Oh, you're above me, you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> That is fucking haunting. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got my swag up back. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was mm -hmm. deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. I feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. A little I called bit. out for help from my teammates. But I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Oh no! Hello? <laughs> I have never felt so completely alone in my entire life. It's so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and don't hear anything back, it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead. It's also the best when you're sitting there and uh, you're just talking to somebody and then they stop replying and you look around and they're gone. Ed, the night is getting darker and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, at this point, he didn't see me. No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? <laughs> I can't find my way out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was such a labyrinth, there was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. I retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. Yes. We are talking 100% forever alone. You are a dead man walking that they will never find. Yep. I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't it's understand amazing. the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things, and just, I eat it, and it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat Try. the toilet either, that's just gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We get Pirate Bay Alien no, 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 about to 47 months. I'm moving different. Oh my god, dude. The introduction of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Yeah, we got him! 
Yay! Damn. Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. <laughs> That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally, they just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta see the gun. you gotta, you gotta show the gun. Oh, seven. <laughs> What's even funnier is that there's a new item called the dramatic mask yes, that is specifically designed yes, for this purpose yes. of turning teammates evil. As in zero three five. It's zero. It's SCP zero three five. And if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hand. Yeah. I got five copies of the other <laughs> <laughs> in the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. You know what? I'm in here. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to G-check him on that dog. I had to. This shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame it on me. Please, give me the shotgun. I'm normal. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun doubt. when my teammates are unarmed. Extra no, doubt. Me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good against guns. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head is full. I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing, because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire and not nice. have us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on and I didn't manage to shoot, but thankfully Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety bobby. on. That solves your problem. Safety? Always off. What? I am a responsible okay. and most If I okay. make it back, oh, no, I do that. great. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, alright? Sigrid is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? We are reaching levels of locked in with thoughts. I was Fucking locked in. Sigrid, you fucking oh, shot me in the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. <laughs> what makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem slapping multiple targets at once. There you go. How did you kill what the all fuck? of us? Damn, somebody How killed me. How did we me. all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience yes. depending on your perspective. Like cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's. You want to see my ops? <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod, like Brutal Company, it ruins everything. Bruh, Bruh. Bruh. Pasta doesn't know that there's gonna be a mine under his feet in three. Oh two, my God! One and. <laughs> <laughs> for a round or two and it may make twitch chat laugh but that's only because you've made the game impossible don't get me wrong i'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth we must limit test i don't want to limit test don't limit test i just don't want to i don't need that in my life I have nothing to prove. Wait, 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 wait. But there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Right. Um, bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. <laughs> yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. This is Gary. <laughs> Wrapping on up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs to the bits to the jokes. So I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Soul owner in existence. Oh, <laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Damn, I don't want chat to get a neural link. If chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from Spider Verse. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. Do not forget about the Swouse merch at the link below. Swouse. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a great way to support these videos while also making sure you pass the fit check. Fresh. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind. I know, I've never right? spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. There you go. <laughs> If the earth is flat, why is my life constantly going downhill? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jetpack. What is... What is this hatch actually for? Alright, there he goes. What the heck? <laughs> 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 why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> <laughs> On the jetpack, it said, We fly high, no lie. And that's about it, dog. The final thing I have to say is thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. I really hope it defied your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out Love on the it. merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Helldivers 2, but I am so excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the whole wide world, and I will catch you in the next video. Yay! I just wanted to make a weird noise just to like really mark the end of the video, and I, I guess that works. There you go. All right. So he hit every point that I just watching somebody play Lethal Company is one thing. Playing it yourself is a whole different ball game. The level of stupidity involved. Like you will quickly find out that all your friends are stupid. You will quickly find out all your friends are stupid, and you will delight in this fact because you will realize that you're stupider than they are. Which is great, and it's also why the aliens won't talk to us. It's just it's just a fact of life, okay? Playing Lethal Company, I know now why the aliens won't talk to us. That in between that and Twitter, I think I'm set, okay? Warpugs, this is this is what we play for, okay? Mindless stupid fun. Mindless stupid fun. It is the way it is. It is the way it should be. And Warpugs. Thank you for spending some time with the old man today. Be sure to check the links in the description down below for Russian Badgers links. Check my links as well for my Patreon, everything like that. Merch. I'll catch you guys next time. The wife has demanded my presence, and I must go. Pray for me. She hits. She hits a lot.